Well, this noon, we are hearing from Captain Phillips. His harrowing tale of kidnapping on the high seas by Somali pirates played out in movie theaters. And now he's sharing his story right here in Grand Rapids. Captain, Captain Rich Phillips is speaking at Davenport University's annual Excellence in Business Gala at DeVos Place later today. And 24-hour news aide Amanda Jarrett sat down in an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the famous captain this morning. She joins us live in studio this noon. Amanda? Good afternoon, Sue. Well, Captain Rich Phillips plans to talk about some of those intense moments about the hijacking of his ship and being kidnapped by pirates. Well, he's in Grand Rapids today. He's also going to talk about his 35 years of sailing. You probably know Captain Rich Phillips' story from this blockbuster film with his namesake, starring Tom Hanks. This is a master. Phillips says his tale has a takeaway for everyone, and it's that message he's bringing to the Excellence in Business Gala in Grand Rapids. We're all stronger than we know. We can do more and, and we can take more than we think we can. Uh, a lot of times we worry about our you know, personal and professional lives, getting things done, taking care of our kids, uh, and in the end, uh, we, we, we are able to overcome it. From the man who overcame days in captivity held by pirates, played out on the silver screen. Philip says he was glad Get the together. film got all the Academy Award attention we'll right. for Tom Hanks and for those who saved him. Good luck. Heroes who he believes don't get enough support. The U.S. Navy SEALs and the military are the heroes, and it's not me. Uh, my crew did a great job, but, but they're the true heroes of the military. They, they do a great job, so it's an honor I get to try and shine some light on them and the things they do every day that we don't hear about. Philip says he actually asked for the name of the film to be changed to something other than Captain Phillips because there's so many heroes in his story. He's been on speaking tours for about four years now and back at work sailing. So what's next for the man behind this film? He's due back at sea in July, but considering retirement. Phillips says he knows the spotlight won't be around forever, and he's okay with that. Uh, I'll be great to get back to just being Rich Phillips. <laughs> well, does he talk about um, just how terrifying that experience was? I mean, he's really casual right mm -hmm. there at oh, the absolutely. end. You can tell that he's just kicked back talking about this. But, I mean, that was a terrifying experience. Oh, absolutely. And, well, I did ask him. I said, do you think about that moment when you were rescued? And do you think about that often? And he said, no, I don't. And he was very light about it yeah. because I think he's trying to move forward and move on and, and find a positive message. And for him, that positive message is shining a light on our, our military, our mm -hmm. Navy SEALs. And he says they're the true heroes. And that's why he wants to do all these speaking tours. He's done it for four years now. He's wrapping up a 12-day tour right now and then going to head back to the East Coast to home to his wife. So it's an yeah. amazing man. Yeah, truly, really interesting, and he's getting back out on the on the water too. He said he's due back yep. this summer, but he's considering retirement, which you can't blame him. Thirty-five years, That's and then this whole saga, yeah. he's probably ready for some time at home. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I bet his wife thinks so too. Right? Yes, yes. Amanda, thank you.